I mean, if somebody could be a dictator and get away with it, it would because be God is interested in something so you'll much You'll never fun. encounter anything remotely close. Imagine I walk into a room full of people. There's a gun in my hand. I wave it around with a crazy look in my eyes. Everyone gives me their full, undivided attention. I say, give me your wallet, and he obeys. I say, sit down, she can't do it fast enough. We all know that people's behavior can be controlled. It happens all the time, in back alleys and in marriages. It happens in whole nations dominated by military dictators and in homes where children tremble with terror to encounter dad. I know I was one of those kids. But back to the room full of people. Now I do something a little more personal. I point the gun straight at your head. Yeah, you. I place the cold barrel on your skin. And I say, love me. Give me your trust. Now, be my friend. Or else. Could you? Not would you, but could you? Is it even within the realm of possibility for you to love me, to trust me, to be my friend under force? Sure, you might lie to me. I love you. Please don't kill me. But that's just it. You'd be lying. Because love and force are mutually exclusive. Did you get that? Love and force are mutually exclusive. They can't even occupy the same emotional space. Force literally disables the ability of the human heart to give trust. The kind of love friendship is made of simply can't be coerced, not even by God. That's pretty amazing for someone who happens to be the most powerful person in the whole universe, isn't it? I mean, if somebody could be a dictator and get away with it, it would be God, right? If somebody could force us into subjection and be answerable to no one but himself, God could. But get this, contrary to popular opinion, he simply chooses not to. He could force our submission, but he doesn't. But why not? The answer is simple and profound. God is love, and it's love alone that he wants. And love is not coercive, because God is interested in something so much higher, something incredibly beautiful and amazing and wonderful. Astoundingly, God's interested in friendship. Now that may sound a little weird to you, but remember the room full of people I entered with a gun in my hand? Well, Jesus entered a room too. He entered our messed up world, but with no gun in his hand, with no force, no manipulation. He came wielding a different kind of power. Most of us don't even expect this kind of thing from Almighty God. But here's what Jesus explained. No greater love has any man than this, that he would lay down his life for his friends. And then he did it. He gave his life in one monumental act of self-sacrificing love love, not control. 
If you look at all the professed gods of history and all the religions that claim to represent God, you'll never encounter anything remotely close to what Jesus spoke of. He said, I don't want you to be my slaves. I want you to be my friends. Friendship, not slavery. He's basically saying, I don't want our relationship to be motivated by fear. I want our relationship to be based on freedom in which the only motive is love. Seriously? It's almost too good to be true, right? The most powerful person in the universe, the omnipotent maker of all things, wants my friendship? If this is true, then saying no to this God would be nothing short of insanity, right? Remember that gun in my hand? My defenses are down now. Game over.